Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to reset your MacBook back to the factory preset. That means all your settings, files, data gonna be delete completely. So you need to create a backup of your Mac and also you need to sign out on your account, Apple IDs, Keylog, everything. So after you've done that, We'll go ahead to go into the recovery mode. How you can go to there in your MacBook, either M1, M1 Pro or M2 or M1 Max. Click to the Mac icon in the left corner here and click on shut down. When you shut down the machines, take your fingers and put in the power buttons for about 5 seconds until you see loading startup options. And then it will go to the recovery mode. Alright guys, so after we successfully go into the recovery dashboard, we have acquired a few options over here. We'll go one by one. The first one is restore from a time machine. That means you can restore your Mac with a version of a backup of your Mac. And the second one is reinstall Mac OS Monterey. This one is you will reinstall your Mac with the newest versions of the Mac OS. And the third one is Safari, where you can access to Apple support and get help. And the third one, which is the one we'll go into, is Disk Utility. We can use this for repair or erase a disk. So just click on Disk Utility and click Continue. So we have two sections over here. The first one is Mac in Touch HD and the second one is Mac OS based system. So the one I want you to focus on is Mac OS HD. Don't touch on Mac OS based system. This is very important because these are the one for the system only. So if you erase this one, your Mac might be get a bunch of errors, you know, can be destroyed. So don't touch on it. Uh, just click on Mac in Touch HD and erase your remained usage. So click on erase. Just wait a little bit until it say erase process is complete. We click done. So as you see over here, we have a completely blank disk. We have 494 gigabyte available. So my version is uh, 512 gigabyte. Uh, but for you, if you have 256, you might have 219, I guess, gig available. So when you see that, that means you are successfully erased your disk. So now we go to the next step. Just exit the disk utility. We are gonna go straight to reinstall macOS Monterey and click continue. Just follow step by step to rein reinstall the operating system for your Mac. Just make it brand new. No lacking. No big files, everything will be erased. Just agree to the agreement. Click on the dish and continue. It say it took about three hours and zero minute, but it's only took like one hour. Just just leave it away and uh, plug your Mac into the power sort. And once it's complete, you can go back and then set up your Mac like brand new. All right guys, after 40 minutes of waiting, now we are successfully installed Mac OS Monterey into your Mac M114. So now I'm gonna show you how to set up your new Mac. First of all, like you're gonna select your country. Yeah, just follow the step one by one. So now just connect to the Wi-Fi, continue. Now it's gonna ask if you have any backup to start with or either from uh, a Mac or Windows PC. I gonna click not now because I don't have that backup in here. You can sign in with your Apple ID right here or later. Skip. Agrees. Agrees. Now it's time to create a com computer account. 
Gotta put my name and password. You know, this is one of the way that you can use to reset your Mac password. But in this case, you will lose all of your data. But just reminder, I made the videos show you how to reset your Mac password without losing data. So if you face that kind of problem, remember to come back to my channel to see how I did it. Reset password without losing any data. That's how we do it. All right, so it's enable location servers. Yes, continue, no. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you like the videos. And if you do, if you found this video is helpful, please consider subscribe to it. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.